Store Game. I'm back with another update. Uh, brief that I've gotten on my. Uh, I happened to notice it because I was doing something and uh, I forgot to mention it, guys. Um, on November 21st of 2017, Rosemary Menger, age 95, passed away. For those of you who do not know who she is, that is or was Howard Menger's first wife. Okay, so if you guys are familiar with the High Bridge incident and the stuff that happened in the 50s, because of course I mentioned it in this channel and you guys will know, and I've even put pictures of her before uh, with Howard. I'm going to show you right now. This was his first wife. They married in 19, um, uh, 1944, they married. So this is her right here, okay, with Howard Menger. And, of course, I, they, I believe they had kids. And after, of course, they divorced and he married uh, to Constance Viola Weber, who everyone knows as Connie Menger, right, who passed away as well in uh, November or October, I think it was, October 7th. Um, yeah, he also had kids with her. And um, I think she, at one point, brought him to court for child support because he was not paying child support. Uh, I think this was in 1959, okay? So, once again, this is Howard Menger's first wife, Rosemary Pulsinelli Menger. Now, of course, she no longer was known as Menger when she separated from him. So, Pulsinelli is her real name, her last name. And uh, I know many people are like, wait a minute, wow. Yep. Sometimes, um, you know, we figure things and by the time we get there, it's over, right? Uh, there was a time when um, she would say that she would believe that everything that her husband at the time, Howard, said was true. Okay? But later on, she... When asked about um, Howard Menger's experiences and hers, of course, about the high bridge, uh, so-called Venusians, right, that were coming from different planets and coming to their home in High Bridge, uh, she actually said she didn't really want to care for that anymore. You know, so it was more like she was with it at one point because she was with Howard, so you know, it was a good thing at the time. You know, so, you know, once a separation came, it was more like he's doing himself and she's going her way and pretty much that's how it went. So she stood, moved on with her life, obviously uh, with Howard's kids, because those are Howard Menger's um, children that, um, well, I can't say all, but I'm just saying that she had kids with Howard. And I think one of Howard's sons were completely very ill. And died at a very young age, you know. Um, I also know that, um, and I, because I, because I made mention of it, you know, how a Menger's senior passed away in 1957, and um, how a Menger's brother also passed away in 1957. So it was kind of like a crazy thing that happened at that particular time, because you know that that hybrid home that they had, you know, everyone was drawn to it because of these so-called you know ufos that would come by or aliens that would come by whatever but like i told you i just believe it was howard manager himself because he showed us that in 1951 he was able to create these um, ufo drones okay he was able to fly them around so in my own opinion and based on all the things that i've seen about you know howard manager's background and his dad's background it showed more that he, his brother, and his dad, along with his former wife, Rose, who you're looking at on the screen, and her family, or some of them, not all of them, were in a big, you know, game of, you know, let's tell people that this is real, and they're going to come in flocks and flocks because they want to see these aliens, right? So, again, people didn't put two and two together once. I mean, some did and some didn't, obviously, you know, but when you see Howard Menger on YouTube and you see the old videos, you see that he has a model right behind him, okay? He's showing you how he got one of those models, and he, he basically made more than one, obviously, that he was able to fly them, and that's why I call them UFO drones, okay? So, yeah, um, 
this is basically his first wife and um you know she moved on with her life which is a good thing sometimes people just want to move on and but um i don't want people to misunderstand i'm not saying anything negative okay because people are always saying that you know they, they always think the negative things when they say oh well why are you picking on these individuals when they passed away no that's not what i'm doing I'm showing you exactly that these were the people at the particular time, okay, during that big, you know, UFO alien phenomenon hype, which was in the 50s, okay, and she was part of it also in that time, and so was her husband at the time, Howard Menger, and so was Connie Menger after her, of course, and others, so it, it wasn't just like it was the Mengers, it was also other people. As you guys know from my videos, you know that I talk about George Adamski and George Van Tassel and, and others, okay? So it's not like it's just these people. But these people that were important to me because these were the people that were connected to these um, so-called events that happened in the 50s, all right? And, um, yeah, she married, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it already, she married Howard Menger in 1944, and like I said, I think they divorced in early 1958, about January, I think, you know, so. And, you know, because when you guys heard me talk about the Valiant Thor story, you know that she was obviously there, but there was no such person called Valiant Thor, you know, so that's the funny part. But anyways, I don't want to talk about that anymore because obviously you guys already know I brought it to light and some people still doubt. That's fine. I, I, I got all the proof I got and that's fine and. There's proof that I got that the Howard Menger story was a hoax also, and George Van Tassel's and George Adamski's, and I mean, come on. It's like there was a whole crowd of people that will create these stories, and you will, you will have to say one is for the attention, two is for the popularity, and three is for finance, okay? Now, of course, they will say, well, you know, like, they will say, oh, well, Howard Menger didn't need money because he already had money. Yeah, 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 we can play that all day and say that that's the case at the time, right? Because he was a sign painter and, you know, he had his little shop. You still ain't going to make a lot of money from a little tiny shop. To, you know, it's just not going to happen. So you figure if he had something on the side, such as this, you know, this UFO hype story, he was able to sell it. And obviously it happened, you know, he was able to sell it. Just like everyone else before him, just like... Frank Ernest Strangers, when he, you know, basically gained finance with that Valley and Thor story. See, that's what I'm saying. It's these people that create these stories. And the only way that these stories are going to get full attention is by you, you know, picking the crowd. Picking the crowd. You know, and, and the more you got people's attention, that's how, you know, that's how you're able to sell your books and also sell your lectures because every time these individuals be like, whoa, please come see me on my next lecture. And, you know, they're basically telling you, come to their next lecture, pay them money, and, you know, they'll tell you what they need to tell you. Me, I'm just telling you here for free on YouTube, right? Because why do I need to do a lecture? This is a, this is a free lecture right here on YouTube. So if anyone does not know who Rosemary Menger is, once again, she was Howard Menger's first wife. All right, first wife. So in case you're just coming into the video and you're checking it out, this woman right here is Howard Menger's wife. She passed away. And uh, I think that's the whole, the only people that know, obviously, of these stories uh, would be their children, of course. So that would be Rosemary's children, which are Howard Menger's children as well. And his two children that he has with uh, Connie Menger, of course, which was, I think it was uh, Eric and Heidi Menger, of course, those are his daughter and his son, and obviously he has uh, sons with uh, Rose Menger, or Rose Polsonelli, rather, so there you have it, guys, I just wanted to give you that quick update, because it just, like, passed right through me, I didn't realize that I forgot uh, to mention it, and of course, this was a very big deal, because, you know, again, she was a major key role to the hybrid incident before Connie Menger came in the picture, okay? So those photographs that you guys obviously saw 
that I showed with the whole, um, you know, they, they're in a private meeting at the manager's place, the high bridge. Uh, that's who was there, her, Rose Benger. So there you guys have it. Again, if I have any other updates, I would definitely bring it to your attention. But I felt that this was a necessity considering that she was part of this um, alien, you know, UFO alien phenomenon in the 50s with her then husband, Howard Manger. So if you guys like this, uh, hit the like button. If you don't like it, that's okay. Uh, if you guys want to be notified every time I put an updated uh, video, just hit the uh, notification button. And you'll be able to see all the new videos that I always put up. So you'll be able to see that. So until next time, guys, I see you then. Peace.